Okay, so let's say you ask to find sine pi over 6. The first thing you may want to do is convert this into degrees because right now it's in radians. The way one could tell that it's in radians is probably because it has a pi in it and it's pretty small. So in order to convert that into degrees, which would be more easier most likely, is by multiplying by 180 over pi. That's the way to go. And then you cancel out the pi's. You know pi could cancel out with pi and you're left with 180 over 6. If you do your computation you could know that 6 goes into 180 3 times. You have a 0, pull another 0 in that will give you 180 and now you have 30. So you originally started off with pi sine over 6 but now that equals to pi sine 30 now that you have pi sine 30, you know which triangle to use. Either the 45, 45, 90, or the 30, 60, 90. The 30, 60, 90 triangle would suit you better because it has a 30 in it. So, making that little triangle, you got 90 here, 30 there, 60 there. Now remembering your ratio, you have 30, 60, 90, you know that 30, opposite of 30 is just x, opposite of, opposite of 60 is x radical 3, opposite of 90 is 2x. Very important to remember, this thing right here, so now you know that opposite of 30 is just x, opposite of 60 is x radical 3 and opposite of 90 is 2x. Also, since uh, the smallest basic triangle, 1, is also known as x, you could just mark that as 1. Mark that as 1 and mark that as 1. So if you see 2x, you know that 2x is 2 times 1, which is just 2 and that's just radical 3. Now, remembering so ka toa you could think about sine and sine is opposite over hypotenuse and if this is a sine opposite is 1 and hypotenuse is 2. Therefore, you have sine equals to a half. Let's make that more specific as sine 30, which is sine 30 equals to a half. There you have it. Hope that helped.